Everybody can have dignity and respect, everybody. But you know, it's not all the time that this is carried out. Sometimes hatred is carried out by people of various members of the community. We're here to tell you that we hate nobody. So I'm coming out of the closet and saying I'm a Christian. And I want to know whether you would tolerate me as a Christian. Would you tolerate me, sir? Would you tolerate me as a Christian? I don't want to engage. Ma'am, would you tolerate me as a Christian? Would you tolerate me as a Christian? Go away? Okay, so you're a bigot. Would you tolerate me as a Christian? You don't want to talk to me. Would you tolerate me as a Christian? Would you tolerate me as a Christian? So you don't want to talk to me? You don't want to talk to me? You don't want, you, you're telling me to get out. You don't want to talk to me, have your backs face towards me. Acceptance, what about acceptance? What, what do you, I accept you, you're here. You want to shake my hand? What did I say? To touch you. I couldn't touch you. But why do you need a microphone? So that people can hear the good news of Jesus Christ. Okay, so I'm just gonna continue on with what I had to say. We have people that can't even say that they love me. They, they can't even say that they tolerate me and I didn't even say anything. Except God loves you. Do you, don't, you don't accept me? Why would I have to get out of Toronto? I don't have to. This is a public sidewalk. I pay my taxes. Everyone's accepted. And that's what we preach as Christians. That everybody is accepted. Jesus died for the sinner. Do you know that every person is a sinner? Don't touch me, please. Please take that off my body. Any, every heterosexual has sin. Every homosexual has Only sin. One God. And sin is when we violate the laws of God and we go contrary to the things of faith. That's what sin is. You're actually blocking me from walking. You know, I'm not coming in your face blocking you from walking. I'm allowed to walk freely in Canada, Toronto. Please, now, now you're assaulting me. Please. I'm trying to walk. I'm trying to walk. He's walking into us, actually. We're just That's actually. I'm trying to walk. This is not love. I'm trying to walk. I'm trying to communicate and exercise my speech. Now you're trying to trick me. That's assault. I didn't. You know, it's funny. You know, when people are mature and they actually really love somebody, then they wouldn't be doing what they're doing. They would allow people to walk on a public sidewalk. But I'm not allowed to walk on a public sidewalk. The laws of Canada apply to Church and Wellesley. The laws of Canada apply to Young and Dundas. So I'm here to tell you today, when we stop loving other people, what ends up happening is that people do, people get hurt when people stop loving. And that's why God sent his one and only son, Jesus. He sent Jesus to show what, okay, now you're talking, you're touching me, sir. I'm here to tell you today that you deserve respect. It doesn't mean I agree with you, but every person is deserving of respect. I have the right to preach, sir. You have the right to preach without your microphone on. I have the right, we, we've dealt with this in court already. So what got, what, what's going on, sir? What's, what's, what's really happening, sir, is I was physically assaulted, and I'm asking you to arrest me. You didn't investigate the assaults. I can tell you one by one, they're all here. They have assault. Where did the lady go? The lady's right there. She assaulted me. Turn this off. If you want to issue a ticket for the bylaw, I'm, I'm more ticket, than I'm willing. On what grounds? You're causing a disturbance. No one's causing a disturbance. You are. Because by exercising freedom of speech. Uh, take what I just said. People have been assaulting me and, and becoming bigots and hate speech against my religion. And so if you're willing to look at the evidence, this is all on live stream right now. City TV News is right here. So I want to exercise my freedom. I'm asking you. It's an option. Yeah, I chose this location. It's a part of Toronto. Does this have a special law in Church and Wellesley? No. No. But you've chosen this I don't want to continue this the conversation anymore. Officer, I'm going to preach over here. Exercise my freedom. is calling all people to There is hope for you. There is hope for me. There is hope for me.
back, please. Get back. I didn't do anything against the Bucs. I didn't do anything against the Bucs. You're ripping my shirt. Take the No, no. This is absolutely Okay, well, I'm being arrested. For what? What did I do? You are not upholding the law. What did I do? We're going to give you all of your information. What did I do? What did I do? Well, what did I do? I need to know what I did according to the law. This is against the law. This is against the law. This is against the law. Jesus Christ died for everybody. This is against the law. This is against the law. You guys can't tell me what I'm being under arrest for. Cause of disturbance of breaching the peace. How so? I already explained it to you lots of times. You just don't want to listen to Sharing the gospel. I was sharing the gospel. Thank you, sir. I was sharing the gospel just What happened is we were on the area of Church and Wellesley Street. So we we had arrested a man for disturbing the peace after he was allegedly yelling derogatory comments. The comments that he made were causing a commotion amongst the crowd. And there were people there that were clearly disturbed and appalled by the comments that were being made. I don't know what those comments were or what exactly it was that he was saying. And so that man was arrested and charged with the offense of disturbing the peace. Our religious beliefs and our freedoms to exercise that belief are going to be taken away. Good! We did, it for, we did it for a mob today. A mob was formed against us. Assault was demonstrated against us. We were assaulted. No one who assaulted us was arrested. But the person that was speaking and freely exercising their Christian beliefs was handcuffed and we don't even know where he's at right now.